Hello, Brian Roper, the guy that collects plastic chairs and cracked a big 80 foot whip on YouTube a few years ago. I'm here. Anyhow, here's this new, uh, should I call it dog chariot I built for my dog. I got a very big, strong Swiss Shepherd. Hey, Dover. Oh, there he is. I know. Pretty soon we're gonna go for a nice walk. <laughs> nah, not today though. He had just take a nap. Yeah, he was chasing deer all morning. He runs and runs and runs like crazy out here, so I built this to take him on a walk with. Basically just two bicycle wheels some two, and two by fours and some screws. And I made it look authentic. Here's my collection of whips there. I tell you, all this has been in those other videos. So anyway, I pretty much just slapped it together with some two by fours, threw some black paint out to make it look authentic. And I just stuck the axles right into some holes. You can pretty much see how I did all that. And I tell you what, I cannot wait to go to the Ocani Bike Trail or the Five Star Trail or the Ghost Town Trail and have my dog pull me around. And I tell you what, the way this is designed, there's hardly any weight at all on a dog. So basically all he feels is about 5% of the force, which is basically what it takes to pull this. Because if you look, the seat part, it's back behind the axle just a little bit. So if you come to the front, there's hardly any weight on there at all. So anyway, stay tuned for a trial. Fortunately, we got some issues at home to worry about before I can do that, so just stay tuned and have a good weekend. I'll tell you what, an anti-roll bar might be a good thing so it doesn't tip backwards and spill you onto the ground. 